What's up everyone, Carmen here coming at you with another deck tech. This week, I wanna take a look at a really unique deck that recently had a breakout performance in the JP meta, Macross Delta. A player who goes by the handle Sukurebo won the BCF National Finals with a 7-0 record. For those of you who don't follow the JP format very closely and saw this pop up on social media, the list is a bit weird looking to say the least. So I wanted to run it down and explain how it works and explain some of the specific card choices, or at least my interpretation of them. Obviously, I can't even start to take any credit for this list itself. So make sure you check out Super Rainbow on Twitter and note, definitely give those a look. With that out of the way, let's jump into the list itself. As you can see, the deck runs six different climaxes that would normally make for an extremely inconsistent strategy, but Macross leverages the link mechanic that was introduced to Weiss back in Grisaia set two, which keeps the deck coherent. Effectively, Link is just a trait for climaxes. It's a method to associate climaxes with an effect in a general wide-reaching way. Macross uses it to double, triple, or even quadruple dip on climax combos in the same turn stamping additional names onto the Climax currently in play. Before we look at any other cards, let's break down exactly how Macross's Link Engine works. The first piece is the event. When you play it the first two times, you'll pay one stock to effectively do nothing, just sending the event to memory. But once at least two of them are in there, all of your Climaxes with Link, which is all Climaxes in this deck, by the way, gain the name of every Climax with Link currently in your waiting room. That means if you have all six different ones in your bin, you can do a bunch of different Climax combos at once, all on the same turn. The Reign of Brainstorm is the other half of the deck's engine. Her first effect lets you mill your entire deck down to just five cards instantly. So long as you have four different named Climaxes in Grave after you mill down, you'll free fresh at the beginning of your Encore step. By tossing nearly your whole deck to the Grave, you'll hopefully ensure that the Climaxes you need will be there, ready to staple their names to whatever Climax you happen to have in hand. Using these two cards together effectively turns every Climax in your deck into every other Climax. Now obviously, that's really strong, so to balance it out, the deck demands a lot of setup first, so the list has to be purpose built to achieve that goal. We'll max out at a full four copies of both of these pieces, as well as dedicate a massive other chunk of our deck just to assembling the combo as quickly as we can. The hardest card to get into our hand early on in the game is going to be the event, so we're going to run another four full copies of this Freya and Mikama. There's a whole wall of text here, but it's a lot of words for a very simple purpose. Dig forever until we find the events and later climaxes that we need. The first effect doubles as both an event Rize and a Ditch Bond on play, either digging you into a possible event off the top early or ripping one directly from the waiting room that happened to go to your clock or grave from a cancel at level zero. Well, the second Cosma effect can grab you either an event or a climax. Remember, after the engine is live, every climax is every other climax, so any of them will do after you get the engine set up. We do still have to play normal white Schwartz in the early turns, so facilitating that is a four stack of this Mikamo. She sits at 3,500 and has a chance to pop back to our hand, making her the ideal field plus for helping us get to our combo. Macross is just one of those sets that really wants that raw plus one card if it goes first. The 1-1 one, one event will net you twice just to get the engine started, and any extra cards you have available early on will be immediately funneled into the Freya Mikumo or other filters in an attempt to cobble together the five card optimal level one combo turn. Also, the double chance to plus helps out a lot when you need to take a gap turn to set up your combo, keeping your hand size up while you piece together the rest of the link engine. Moving through the rest of the level zero suite, we have two of the Machina Ricos to help filter out heavy cards and extra climaxes for whatever additional filter or tech piece we need at the time. Then one copy of the Kaname on Death Kome. Our opportunities to use this are fairly limited, and when we are forced to do so, it's usually a desperate playover situation. We have more than a few ways to consistently pick up one ofs from our completely upside down deck that the Reina makes for us every turn, so a lean count of this at one is completely fine. Similarly, only one Mikamo Ricky. We have slim opportunities to make use of this as well, mostly because we need to pay two stock for our two events and then one stock for our Reina's effect to get set up, which is a full turn of attacks. But a single copy can help us avoid getting level locked with a handful of events at climaxes, which is very nice. Again, especially when we have to take a gap turn. Sukurebo's list uniquely ran two of this Shuffleback card, which is pretty uncommon from Macross, but after playing a bit with it with this list, I definitely wouldn't play without it, especially in a version of the list running only the Haya Freya top end, as this one is. As you could probably tell by how intricate all of these effects are, Macross's Link Engine has some pretty unique and debilitating fail cases that we desperately need to minimize. The most common of which is having the needed Climax still left in our five-card deck, 
after we resolve Reyna's effect. Being able to shuffle back enough clean triggers after doing some post Reyna deck manipulation lets us get the climax we need where we need it and still get our Reyna free fresh at the start of our Encore step, or at the very least, get all our Haya Freya finisher attacks off. They also ran a single copy of the standby climax combo, which is an additional hand filter every turn you slam a climax so long as it's on the board and you have the standby climax in your waiting room, and as well as being a backrest saver, which has some additional synergy with another card that we played down the road. The extra filter is nice, but personally, I think I'd probably slot in another Rico here for some extra early game stability. We mostly want to filter for our level zero tech cards anyway, but it's still a very cool option. Speaking of Climax combos, the first half of Macross's advantage engine is this Kaname. She summons cost zeros to the field mid-combat step from the waiting room in open positions, which is a raw plus in and of itself, but more importantly, can summon this Mikumo. This 2-0 swings in at 9,500 power with a Climax down, and when she wins her lane, can sack off the Climax at the beginning of your Encore step to salvage two characters. Note that this triggers at the exact same time as our Reina Free Fresh, so we can resolve the Mikumo first, sending our last climax to the waiting room and then free fresh letting us go back with hopefully all eight climaxes every single turn that we combo which in macross is basically every turn by looping this we can continue to compress and plus while presenting a fresh deck state to our opponent turn after turn eventually becoming an unkillable compression monster that never even takes refresh points as damage because the Kaname and Mikumo combos will stay out of your deck when you free fresh and likely die on the swing back, Mikumo combo will usually default to grabbing a Freya Mikumo to dig for another climax and a copy of this 2-1 Mikumo. While 9500 is pretty big, it can't win her lane forever. Playing this 2-1 means that you can pick up a Kaname combo that died from the previous turn and bounce a lane for your then summon Mikumo to win in, continuing the loop. Outside of looping, the bounce is also a pretty efficient form of disruption and can be paired with that save or standby combo from before to get two bounces out of just one card. The rest of the list outside of the finisher is a smattering of unique Macross tech, the wildest of which is this one of Dark Machina. This is a hand rip, which although temporary is exceedingly rare and wise. Since it's random, the chances it does anything impactful is pretty low, but a level one two soul beater with disruption for when you couldn't get the link engine ready in time is a better option than most sets have. We also have a one of Dark Reina, which is an additional self tap salvage brainstormer, as well as being a tap to burn brainstorm. Being a costless level one means we could potentially fire this effect off pretty early, and usually for a known amount, as the Reina can mill us down to five cards every turn, then using this to burn for four out of the five cards that are left. Afterwards, we can use the shuffle back to make sure that we can still execute our combos for the turn and still get our Reign of Free Fresh off. One sack next soul counter, mostly for the mid-combat sack. There's also an anti change counter you could play in this slot if you want to. And then one early play healer, just for a little bit of extra sustain. We mostly want to loop our Konames and Mikamo, but being able to easily nab one of with the Mikamo lets us keep the early healing option open without wasting a lot of deck slots. And lastly, a full four stack of the Haya Freya combo. Uniquely among popular Macross lists, Sukurebo opted to not play any of the other finishing combos, even with the Link Engine. And after playing a few iterations of the list myself, including this one, it's easy to see why. The Freya Mocha and the Mikamo Cancel Burn only help confirm damage, rather than push additional instances like the Haya Freya can, not to mention the card's baked in modularity with its heal and plus and two climax Fumio effects. Due to how the Link Engine works, it's more important to include more Climax names and extra copies of the Kaname and Mikamo Advantage combos than to add an extra copy of this card's choice Climax. But by utilizing any number of deck manipulation tools in conjunction with the Shuffle Back, we can guarantee that we'll always be able to fire off three copies of the Haya Freya, even if the Climax gets stuck in our bottom five post Reina effect. For a little bit of extra oomph, we also run two copies of this Hayate that directly supports the finisher. He's a level assist with a choice support ability that can pay out triggers instantly for some extra pluses, but he also lets all your Haya Freyas fire off two of their abilities each for just one stock and two hand. Since the finisher itself is free, paying a small additional cost like this to enable some crazy combinations of burns and heals, or Fumios and burns for multiple lanes can be very destructive. 
like I said at the beginning of the video, Sukarevo played this list to a 7-0 finish at BCF Nationals, which is insanely impressive, as you can probably tell. Even with all the consistency pieces and high counts, getting the link engine set up every game can be really difficult. Sukarevo's list has pretty unique safety nets like that shuffleback that can really help bring up the floor after the loop gets going, and opting to run the Mikamo Field Plus in the early game definitely helps shore up the games where you might be forced to take a gap turn at level 1 before setting up the full combo versus a more all-in version of the deck that I've played in the past. 7-0 is just a really insane record considering the difficulty and nature of the deck, so kudos to them for putting up such an amazing performance. We do have VODs of them playing a top cut, which I'll also link in the description alongside Sukarebo's socials, so definitely check those out for a better idea of how the deck is piloted. If you'd like to give the deck a spin for yourself, there's always Weiss Fight as well as the Auto Simulator. One thing I'd like to mention is that the list is pretty intricate and unique compared to other decks, so don't get discouraged if piloting it doesn't click at first. However, it is insanely fun after you get the swing of it, so definitely give it a try. If you couldn't tell by now, I did go on script for this one, as I wanted to do the list the most just as I could since it isn't mine, but there's a massive chunk of the Western community that I'm sure was confused by this result, since the list is pretty weird, and don't know where to find stuff like Super Rainbow's Twitter or their note. Also, Macross Delta is just a super sick set, and you should definitely also go watch the show. It's got banger music, mega fights, Mikomo is a total schizo, lots of good stuff, so definitely check it out. With that, Pittsburgh White Shirt signing off, and we'll see you in the next one.